Okay guys, so this video is actually a reminder video for many of you. It's a video on solving unknowns on both sides. Okay, now it's a skill that you need to have quite fluently for F5, F6 and quite a lot of, uh, of P1 as well. So I'm going to go through an example now, two, three minute video, an example. So we all know how to solve equations uh, with one unknown. Um, and many of us should know this, but I'll do an example anyway. So I've got 6x plus 2 equals 4x plus 12. Okay, when I look to solve that equation, typically I just want to get x by itself. But when you've got an x on this side and an x on this side of the equal sign, there's a different process. You must get the x's on the same side of the equal sign. Now to do that, we look at what has the smaller coefficient in front of the x. Is it the positive 6 or the positive 4? It's the positive 4. So therefore, I'm going to, because it says positive 4 here, I'm going to minus 4x, minus 4x on both sides. 6x take away 4x is 2x. Plus 2, because that hasn't changed, equals 4x take away 4x is 0. So I get I leave that. Positive 12, so I put the 12 here. Okay, now I've got uh, x just on one side, and I'm good to go. I just solve the equation like I normally would. Minus 2, minus 2. 2x two equals 10, divided by 2, divided by 2. x would equal 5, okay? So that's one example. I'll do four quick examples here. If I've got 7x take away... 3 equals 4x take away, let's say, 27. Okay, right, the exact same thing here. By the way, if you want to pause the video and try it yourself, please do. Right, first thing I think is I need to get x on the same side. What has the smaller coefficient in front of the x? Is it the 7 or the 4? Well, it's the 4. Because it's a positive 4, I'll take away 4x, take away 4x from both sides. 7x take away 4x is 3x. Minus 3 is already there, unchanged. 4x take away 4x is 0, so it stays there. Negative 27 ends up being by itself there. To get 3x by itself now, remember the, the what we spoke about in the last video. 3x minus 3 equals negative 27. So the last thing we did there was minus 3. So I'm going to add 3 here, add 3 here. So 3x equals negative 24. Divide by 3, divide by 3 x would equal negative 8. Final answer. Right. What about this one? 3x plus 10 equals 5x minus 2. Okay. I want to solve it. Now, it looks very similar, but then stop. I want to get x's on the same side. Now, what we've done previously is that both times we've had to minus whatever this was on the right-hand side for the left-hand side because it was a smaller coefficient in front of the x. But if you look here, positive 3x, positive 5x, the 3x is actually the smaller one in this case. So I'm not going to just minus 5x because I saw that here and here. I'm looking for the smaller one. The smaller one is actually 3x. And because it's positive 3x, I'm going to minus 3x here, minus 3x here. That now disappears because that becomes 0. Positive 10 there is on this side by itself. 5x take away 3x is 2x take away 2. Now, a lot of people get confused and concerned at this point because they're like, well, hang on a minute, I needed the x to be on the left-hand side. No, you do not. The x can also be on the right-hand side by itself. That's fine. So now, I'd look, how do I get this x by itself? 2x take away 2 equals 10. So I'm going to add 2, add 2. So 12 equals 2x. And then divide by 2, divide by 2 to get x by itself equals 6. Done. Right, last quick example. Um, let's say minus 5x plus, let's say, 17 equals 2x minus 4. Okay, same process. We look, we say... What's the smaller x? Now, a lot of you might say, ah, 2x, but then you've got to look carefully. 
that says 2x, that says negative 5x. Technically, negative 5 is smaller than 2. So to get the x's on the same side, I'm going to do, look at this number, because it's minus 5 is smaller, negative 5 is smaller, do the opposite, which is positive 5x, positive 5x. So that will become 0. 17 will be on this side. 2x plus 5x is 7x minus 4. Okay, add 4, add 4 on both sides for the reasons I said above here. I want to get x by itself. 21 equals 7x. Divide by 7, divide by 7. 3 equals x. Final answer. Okay, just quickly watch out, guys, for questions where maybe it doesn't go in nicely to a whole number. If, for example, that was 23 divided by 7, I would leave my answer as 23 over 7. Okay, the only reason why all of these aren't written like that is because they all end up being nice whole numbers. Okay, hopefully this video has helped.